Hey, what's going on guys? CH from Village Park Source, just to say congratulations on making it to the 50th video. Great job so far. I know everybody's worked really hard on this and I just wanna give you guys a nice little golf clap to those who congratulated it. I've been a little MIA on this channel. I'm working on my more personal kind of like vlog channel. It's called Bruise and Vids. You can check it out right here if you're interested. Other than that, keep up the great work and I'll see you guys at the 60th video. Hey guys, welcome back. Sorry that I made you look at my ugly face. In this video, now before we go on and start talking about transitions and masks and how to use markers and exporting from into iMovie, importing into iMovie and time lapse and all this stuff. I want to talk about how to export a still image because I use this all the time, especially when I'm making YouTube thumbnail images. So what you're going to want to do is grab your playhead and put it anywhere on your primary storyline. Now keep in mind you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to go left and right. Right now I'm doing that as you can see right around here. These are going up by increments of one keyframe. One frame, I'm sorry. So we'll take this ugly mug. Look at this, that's me. That's what I look like. Once again, I'm sorry. Um, and let's go over here to the right-hand side. Now we've talked about exporting before. We've talked about exporting and changing settings. We're gonna click on the same exact button. Show shared destinations. Now, if you don't have, um, what is it called? Click on add destination. What we're looking for is called save current frame. If you don't have that, showing up right here it should show up around here because i think it's in alphabetical order a b no it's not uh not at all so uh never mind just click on save current frame it shows up just like that export as now there's no really right or wrong you can do tiff file you can do png uh jpeg i don't want to do a photoshop i do not want to do a psd uh png is the highest is a more higher quality image so i'm going to go with that just like that. Now there's no save or anything. Maybe on your version of Final Cut Pro 10, there is a save button. So I'm just going ahead and click out and then I'm gonna click on it again. So I'm gonna click on this right now. Now save current frame should show up and it should bring us to our settings. Now with our settings, we've got, what do we call this? We've got our settings. It's gonna export as a PNG, portable network graphics image. What does JPEG stand for? J, oh man, I'm, I'm so out of touch with Photoshop but this is what we want. It's gonna export at our settings right here, whether you have it at 1080 or 720. And let's click on info. You can get rid of your tags here. This isn't really gonna make or break the PNG export to our desktop. Um, but this might, this is called ugly face. That's what I just did in an earlier video. We'll call it super ugly face, just like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just save it to my desktop, super ugly face. Now let's check it out. Super ugly face. There it is. That's how we that's how we uh, successfully export a still image in Final Cut Pro 10. Good luck with this. Let's get back into it. Let's start picking up on markers, transitions, mass, slow motion, all the good stuff. You guys are all legends for making it to your 50th video. Congratulations. I'll see you in the next video and you'll see my face in the 60th video.